Hello, in this video, we are going to look at three Power BI tasks that seem impossible, but they are not. Let's dive straight in. Now for this first example, I have a column chart and you can see the X axis has text values. So by default, Power BI orders them largest to smallest by the value and does not use the axes like it would if the values were numeric. And it's not obvious if or how we can change the order of that column chart. You may expect that it would be over on the right in the format area for the visual, but when you navigate your way into that area, you won't find anything for sorting the axes. If I expand the X axes, there's nothing in here. What we need to do is go to the three more options dots in the top right corner of the visual. From there, sort axes. And I can do this by the count of the film or by the decade, which is the values in the X axes. If I choose decade, it now changes to order it by the name of the decade rather than the value. Now it is doing it in descending order or newest to oldest as we may refer to that, but we can come back to more options, sort axes, ascending. So whatever order we are looking for, we can achieve it. For the next task, we want to import multiple sheets from a single Excel workbook. So I'm going to create the connection to this Excel workbook and it's this one called multiple worksheets. Let me open that up and the navigator window will appear listing all of the sheets from that file and also any tables or defined names that may exist. Now we want to import all of the sheets that contain the name of a month and only those sheets. Now obviously with sheets using the name of a month, you could expect that we're going to get additional sheets and at some point possibly less sheets. This appears to be a workbook that is probably going to be dynamic in how many sheets we want to import. So we don't really want to tick the boxes because that is too specific. Now in Excel, you can click on the option at the top for the folder and you can connect to that. But in Power BI, when you look down to the bottom of the window, the transform data button is still ghosted out. So it looks like it's impossible to achieve the same thing in Power BI as we can in Excel. But that's not true because you can right mouse click on the name of the file up above click on transform data from the little context menu, and that will take you into the Power Query Editor and give you the opportunity to filter out the sheets or the tables that you don't want, and then ultimately combine them into one query or one table. So at this point, I could apply a filter to the name column, working on the assumption that they will always be a lists and report sheet that we don't want, I'll apply a simple filter there. We can remove any columns that we maybe do not require. And then from here, we can do our expand, bring in all the information, and then take on your transformations to whatever level you need. The final seemingly impossible Power BI task is to move and further organize your measures. So I'm in the report view at the moment and we can see three measures in my fields pane and my count of sales measure is in a strange table to find it. It's in the reps table. You'd expect to find it in the sales table as that would be logical as that's what we are counting. It's nothing to do with reps. Now in report view, we cannot just click and drag that measure, which I'm pretty confident in saying everyone tries that at least once. So if I was to click and drag this measure, or it could be one of the columns, it cannot be moved in that manner. Now, one way of doing it is we can click on the count of sales measure and then up on the measure tools tab, 
there is the option for home table and from there I can say the home table should be sales and it is easily moved into the sales table not too difficult but quite frustrating that we cannot click and drag and that leads a lot of people to believe that it's not possible to move a measure therefore they delete it select another table and recreate it again we certainly don't need to be doing that now if I switch to the model view of my Power BI report in model view you can actually click and drag so I could click and drag that count of sales table back into reps and it functions exactly the same in the reps table it's just a strange place to find it and I can drag it back much easier but you're in model view by the time you come here you can probably have used the home table method another thing to organize our measures further though we've only got three in this small uh, data set if we had a lot more than that we don't really want to shoehorn all of those into our sales table so you'd think let's create a folder just like I can with my power queries and my files and my emails and pretty much everything I use on a computer but when you right mouse click because that would be one suspicion for right click a table I cannot see an option for new folder so maybe we right click somewhere outside the table if I right click down here still no new folder it seems like it cannot be done but once again that is not true it just seems to be extremely hidden from the usual Power BI user just trying to get on with their day and learn Power BI for the first time before you come across these little tricks of the trade. Now to do it, I can select my measures. If I click on all three, I'll select the first one, control, total revenue, control, total units sold. And in the properties pane beside them, there's an option for display folder. I can create a folder named measures or anything you want to call it doesn't have to be named that you can even create subfolders by putting the backslash and then continuing with a subfolder name such as kpi or something like that i'm going to backspace and keep just the one folder press enter and all of those selected measures are moved into this folder that is housed within the sales table easy to do when you know how somewhat of an oddity maybe that we can't just right click new folder like we typically do in other Microsoft products. So they are the seemingly three impossible Power BI tasks that are actually absolutely possible. I hope you found them useful. Did you know all three of those? Let me know in the comments. Maybe you have something to share. Is there something that you spent ages trying to find and you want to share it with others who may be feeling that same pain right now. Let us know in the comments. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get the latest videos at this channel.